inverse relations. So this will make up the third video. It will also complete these uh, sets of notes. And before we get crazy talking about this table, let's just talk about the idea of the inverse. Well, we've used that term a lot. The inverse is kind of like the opposite operation. So if I have addition, you know, here's subtracting. So we use the inverse of addition to solve for subtraction. Clear that out. So it's kind of like flipping something around. Kind of. And the reason I say that is, like, let's say you have a graph. And let's say you're graphing time and then how much pay somebody gets. Well, the more time somebody spends on a project, usually their pay goes up. But let's say this is like kind of a flat graph, you know. You could find the inverse of this by switching the location of your labels. So here's time and here's money. But that means our graph would change. So it would be, you know, kind of more like this. Because every time you had like an X here, let's pretend that was 5, that X becomes your new Y because I've switched the two. So if I was 5 over, instead I'd be 5 up. And if here I'm at 0, well then this Y becomes my X, so I'm at 0, 5. So the way that the inverse works is you're going to just straight up switch the X's and the Y's. And since the book presents this a little bit differently, um, but I'm, uh, I'm going to support the way they do it. I just want you to write this. So x comma y becomes y comma x. That is the inverse. Now having pointed that out, let's just make sure this makes sense. So here's 0, 2, which means that if I have the 0 here, the 2 there, and I do the inverse of it, the x becomes the y, and the y becomes the x, and lo and behold, there's my two zero there. Checking the next one, negative five four. The negative five becomes the y. And the four, which was the y, becomes the x. So they've switched locations. And now let's recognize that there are words that go with this, so let's make sure we don't skip by it too much. Relation Q is the inverse of a relation S. So here is the original relationship S, and then here's the inverse Q. If and only if, for every single ordered pair, or coordinate, or x, y, in this guy, there is an ordered pair B, A. So these guys are inverses, meaning if you can flip them around, it works out. So now here we're going to create an inverse relationship. So express the relation shown in the mapping. So here's a mapping. As a set of ordered pairs. Now if it tells you to do it, you cannot skip this step. So first we're just going to transcribe this as ordered pairs. If you're doing this in your book work, I'd like this to be labeled. And so here again, we're creating a uh, inverse. So here's two comma. So you just look and see, well, two gives me the input, which uh, yields negative four. Here's three connecting to negative four. Here's five connecting to negative seven. And if this isn't clear, here's six connecting to negative eight. So this would be the original relation, just written down. And if those are the in-ordered pairs, I'd like you to neatly label the changed setup, which is the inverse. And having written it as ordered pairs, I wouldn't go back and look at the mapping anymore and try to do it in reverse, although you could. I'm just going to take the values, 2, negative 4, and flip them. So here's negative 4, 2. I'm going to take the values of 3, negative 4, and flip them. 5, negative 7, flip them. 
and then the last one becomes 8-6. Reading through everything, did we do both things we were instructed to do? Yes, we took the mapping, and we wrote them as ordered pairs in the inverse. If this was a textbook problem, you would not have to rewrite the mapping. That's unnecessary. Um, but I would like to see you mapping this out and being clear with the ordered pairs and then the inverse. We'll make this one an OYO problem. Big deal. It's just represented as a table. So my hint to you would be, um, if you need to, this first coordinate stripped from the table would look like that. Five seconds, I'm going to have both of the uh, answers to this problem up. So be sure you're pausing this, doing it on your own. That's enough time for you to pause this and check your work. I'm moving on. Here's the assignment. Maybe you're told to start it now, maybe you're told to wait. Not totally sure. But I think this will be a smooth section, um, and again, it's all about representing relations of functions.